Okay, so this is just a quick video to show you the behavior of a bootlooping MacBook Air board uh, A20-3447-B. So we have uh, two multimeters and uh, one oscilloscope. We are gonna check PM Sleep S4L with the Bremen BM857S first. So let's check over here. So we can see that there is a spike up to 0.8 or 1 volt. 1.2 and uh, you can clearly see it at a regular interval so this is a bootlooping loop board uh, you can uh, see also that the bar graph right here goes up when it's spiking and now we are gonna check with the BNK Precision 390A multimeter so let's build the probe. And uh, let's check again. So with this multimeter, as you can see, we can't see any voltage. Uh, we are still the bar graph bottom of the screen that goes up. But if you don't have a bar graph on your multimeter, you are actually missing the spikes and you don't know this board is actually bootlooping. What we can try is to switch to manual ranging mode. So both of those multimeters are auto ranging. So they switch between millivolts, volts, and so on uh, automatically. So if we switch to manual range, so uh, the first. Uh, and on the volts we can sometimes see the voltage spike but sometimes it cl clearly misses it so you can still see on the bottom of the display the bar graph going up a little bit but sometimes the voltage stays at zero so here you also miss the spike if you don't have the bar graph and now we are gonna check with the oscilloscope. So sorry, it's a bit fucked up and uh, the screen is dying, but you can still see the spike. So if we check with the oscilloscope, here you saw the little spike. And it's gonna show up again somewhere. Yeah, the triggering doesn't really hold. Yeah, here it is. So this is another way to check a bootlooping board with the oscilloscope. So if your multimeter is too slow, like the BNK Precision 390A, uh, you can use the oscilloscope or you have to find another multimeter or find an oscilloscope because uh, knowing that your board is actually bootlooping is a very helpful hint because um, those MacBook Air boards like to bootloop between uh, PM Sleepers for all all the way up to uh, CPU record and even when the BIOS starts uh, running. So if you have over the rail presence, even CPU because the, the CPU starts processing instructions from the BIOS but it cannot communicate with it, it's gonna bootloop the same way. Don't talk PM Sleep as for L. Also, uh, this is not um, also, the price of the multimeter doesn't tell you if it's gonna perform well uh, with this specific situation because uh, this multimeter, the Bremen BM857S, costs about 150 uh, euros tax included, and this one is, uh, if I recall correctly, somewhere on 170 or 180 euros. Uh, but uh, those multimeters have some different features for example this one can read a thermocouple and this one cannot so uh, 